Load game. You have reached meeting point. To the mansion. To the chaos tower. To the lake stronghold. To the catacombs. To the capital. You have reached road to the capital. To the witch's lair. You have reached Witch's Let Witch. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 100 experience crystals. Those mag familiar. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien crystals come which the battle begins. The battle ends. Alien crew computer the upward to the road up. You have upward. You have reached witches, witches, screens, which they don't trust, dead dummies, bookshell, leader of the witches. The leader thanks Elian for his help, which allowed them to achieve their goal with just a few wounded witches. She knew from the beginning that he was a dampier. A simple human wouldn't be able to reach this place. So she offers him some blood that the witches would use for rituals as a sign of gratitude. Elian obtains enough blood for three blood vials. She has no more business with Elian, so she politely invites him to not stay here much longer and leave as well. Downward. You have upward, down. You have upward to the road to the. You have to the witch road to the entrance. You have reached to the helper's house, two alleys, to the road to the capital. To You have reached capital, alleys to the witch house, abandoned building. <laughs> Alien morphs into a bat and flies over the roof of that palace. At the top of it there's another small building, which has a different look compared to the other one. He's quite suspicious about that, so he wants to take a look. You have reached capital, abandoned building, vase. In a corner of the room, there's a very valuable vase. That's quite unusual, considering the other furniture. In a corner of the room, fridge. Elian opens the fridge. There's only a wine bottle inside it. On a closer look, he realizes that actually the liquid inside the bottle is blood. Elian transfers it and obtains one blood vial. Even more surprising is the fact that the fridge is working, so the electric current is active in this building. Even more You opened the inventory page. 27. Blood You opened life point. Experience points. 
Alien reached level 3. 460 XP. Your back table. A low table is located at the center of the room. There's some white paper on it. There's even some pens. A low ta- Metal grate. On the wall, there's a big metal grate. It's dark behind it. Anyway, Elian can see something behind it. Yet he can't pass through the grate. Not even as a bat. On the wall- Candles. Those candles are still lit. It's not possible. In fact, Elian notices that those candles are like the ones inside the catacombs of Oblivion. Those can- Two alleys. Vase. Two- <laughs> You have to the wit capital. Corpse. A guy lies on the ground next to a dumpster with his back on- Graffiti. To the witch house. Abandoned building. To the square. You have saving cat meta guy soldier. The battle begins. <coughs> the battle ends. Alien saving meta soldier. The battle begins. <coughs> the battle ends. Alien. Meta got to the alleys, to the government palace, save to the after the met You have to the witch capital, abandoned built to the square, to the entrance. You have to the help capital, two alleys, to the road to the capital. You have to the witch to the entrance. To out. You have saving. You saved the game. T -t to the lake. To the catacomb. To the capital. To the chaos tower. Elian is about to approach the place. Now that the mountains don't block the view anymore. He can see that there's something wrong in the sky. Right below there's the tower, which now is divided into four sections. The bottom part is still on the ground, but the other three pieces are suspended in air and rotate around the bottom part. Each part is situated at a different height. It's difficult to explain what's happening, but the fact that nearby there are humans who wander around without a destination doesn't make it easier to figure out. Elian wants to try asking one of them. You have reached Chaos Tower. Outskirts. Corpse. It's a man who died recently. There's still no trace of the cause of death. Elian uses his power and touches the body. He met an aberrant creature. The humanoid being reached him and... After touching his head, he couldn't move anymore. A tremendous headache started and kept going. He felt his brain get so hot that it was at the point of melting. Then that thing actually sucked it through its hand. Like a drink. It's a man who died re- Standing person. Grass. To outside the grass. The grass is withering. Next to the tower, the grass even stopped growing. The grass to, to the tower. Core. Stand grass. Standing person. Elian asks that man if he has a moment to talk. He doesn't receive an answer. The man is looking toward the other side. Some moments later, he starts muttering something. Elian can't hear, so he gets closer. When Elian is close enough, he stops muttering. Some seconds pass. He suddenly turns his head. 
He moans out loud and then attacks Elian. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Elian gains 70 experience points. Press control. Elian knocks out the man. It's like he lost his mind. Actually, it could be the doing of someone else. There's no point in standing there. Elian should enter the tower to find out more about that. Corpse to the tower entrance. When Elian is about to enter, the door starts to open. Elian hides somewhere, as fast as he can. A group of five aberrant creatures come out of the door. It's a group of humanoid beings which wear a cloak. Elian has no doubt. They are mind flayers. They are powerful spellcasters that have the power to enslave the mind of their victims. They can even eat their brain without damaging the body. They don't belong to this world. They should come from the pandemonium. So Elian is very worried and sets this task as an absolute priority. He won't go back without accomplishing it. Humans are controlled, and the rift in the sky, right above the tower, means that there's a ritual ongoing. It must be stopped. Two outs to the tower. Elian enters the tower. Tentacles are spread all over the walls. This floor has a great library inside. You have reached First Tower, Floor Zero. Tentacles. The tentacles aim at Elian. As long as he stays at a safe distance, it should be okay. The tentacles aim at Elian. Library Shelf 1. There's plenty of books, tomes and scrolls. Most of them tell about history, mythology and magic. There's plenty of books, tomes, table. On the table there are many books. But most of it is occupied by materials used for magic and rituals. On the table there are many books. But most of it is occupied by materials used for magic and rituals. Library Shelf 2. The books on this shelf are about war, military strategies and geography. There's also a section dedicated to monsters and paranormal phenomena. The books on this shelf are about war, military... Library Shelf 3. Inside those books is the detailed story of this tower. It seems that, through the centuries, it changed its name many times. Elian finds an interesting book. It seems like the chronicles of an adventure that happened here a long time ago. It's a story about Justin the Adventurer. Elian quickly reads a part of it. Justin and his team decided to conquer the tower. Even just to enter it, they had to fight terrible beasts. In order to reach the following floors, they had to find two crystals. Their colors were blue and purple. Some pages have been removed from the book. Elian quickly reads a part of it. Justin and his team decided to conquer circles. On the floor, many circles have been traced. Most of them are concentric. They have been traced with chalk and blood. 
On the floor. Many to the outskirts. To floor one. At the center of the floor, there is a shiny blue crystal. It hovers a few centimeters above the ground. On the walls, some fresco portrays a mysterious beast. The progeny of the vampire comes forth, but they are different. Some tentacles merge with their body. Many eyes open from other parts of their body, and they don't look very stable in the mind. You have reached First Tower, Floor 1. Aberrant progeny. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Press control. Fresco. To floor 2. Fresco. The beast in the fresco seems like a jackal. To be more precise, it's a were jackal. The beast in the fresco's blue crystal. The crystal is shaped like a symmetrical cross. Will Elian touch the crystal? Press the left arrow to touch the crystal. Press the right arrow to not do that. Elian touches it. The crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore. Aberrant progeny, fresco, corpse. Among the tentacles, there's the corpse of a man. The limbs and the neck are blocked by the tentacles, which still hold him suspended. He has been choked by them. Among the ten aberrant progeny, the battle begins. <laughs> Less than 70. The battle ends. Alien gains 130 experience points. Press control. Aberrant fresh core to, to floor 2. Another crystal hovers inside this floor. This time it's violet. The walls show the fresco of another humanoid beast. You have reached First Tower, Floor 2. Saving point. You saved the game. Mindless. The battle begins. <laughs> 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 Less than 75% life points. Less than 50% life points. <laughs> the battle ends. Elian gains 70 experience points. Elian increases his experience level. Press control. Aberrant progeny. The battle begins. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 130. You are la exp Alien reached level 4. 7. Your back. Say 100. You say my fresco. 
violet crystal. Fresco, mindless. Saving fresco. The fresco portrays a legendary race. A humanoid dragon. That should be a dragon knight. It wears armor and wields an electric spear. The fresco, violet crystal. The crystal is shaped like a symmetrical cross. Will Elian touch the crystal? Press the... Elian touches it. The crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore. To floor one. To floor three. Once more, Elian finds a red crystal when he enters this floor. This time on the fresco, there's a sort of aberrant bat. You have reached for aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <coughs> The battle ends. Elian gains 130 jar. Elian removes the lid. The jar contains a lot of human blood. Inside the liquid, there are also entrails and other organs. It's no use being picky. So Elian obtains two blood vials. Window. Jar. The jar is empty. You opened the inventory page. Twenty. Nine. You opened your back. Red crystal. The crystal is shaped like a symmetrical cross. Will Elian touch the crystal? Press the... Elian touches it. The crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore. Red crystal. The crystal is not there anymore. Elian heard something when he touched the red crystal. The crystal fresco. The creature in the fresco is an aberrant beast. The main body is a brain with bat wings. From below the brain, many tentacles come out. Mindless. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien get fresca mine aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien gains one. A bear jar. Red fresk. Mindless. To floor two. Upstairs. Wall. Hole. A barrant pro. Ho wall. There's some wall which is not covered with tentacles after all. Up wall. There's some. Up to floor. Mind. To floor two. Upstairs. Alien goes upstairs. He should reach the top of the first tower from here. As Elian proceeds, the stairs suddenly rotate. The path becomes a very long slide. Elian slips down it. When the slide ends, he reaches another floor. But that's floor one of this tower. He has been fooled by a trap. You have reached first tower, floor one, to floor two. You have reached first tower, saving, you set to floor three. You have reached first hole, wall, hole. The hole has a rectangular shape. Wall. There's some wall upstairs to floor two. Aberrant progeny. The battle begins.
The battle ends. Alien. Hole. Wall. Upstairs. To floor two. Mindless. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien. Quit get Hell hum. Low. You have reached for save mindless. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien gate. Aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than 25% life points. The battle ends. Alien saving po my fresco violet crystal the crystal alien touches it the crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore a bet mindless save you to floor 3 you have reached for aberrant progeny the battle begins <laughs> The battle ends. Alien jar. Red crystal. The crystal alien touches it. A pole wall. Upstairs. To floor two. Aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> The battle ends. Alien hole war ups war hole. The hole has a rectangle up to floor to mindless. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than twenty five percent life points. <laughs> Less than twenty five percent life points. The battle ends. Alien fr jar a barren hole wall ups to floor two mindless fresca red cr jar red the crystal is not there anymore fresca mindless to floor upstairs wall ups to floor two upstairs. You have reached fur to floor two a barren progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> the battle ends. Alien to floor two. You have reached fur to floor three to floor one. You have reached for aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
More than 75. The battle ends. Alien to floor two to floor zero. You have reached tentacle library table. Library 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 shelf one. There's plenty of books. There's plenty library. The books on this shelf are about the book lot circles. Library Elian quickly reads a part of it. Justin and his team decided to to the outskirts on the floor to, to floor one to the out of You have reached fur to floor aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than 75% life points. Less than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien to, to floor corpse. Blue crystal. The crystal is shaped like a symmetric. Alien touches it. The crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore. Aberrant corpse fresco core up to floor zero to floor two. You have reached first tower. Save you mindless. The Less than 75% life points. <laughs> <laughs> Less than 75% life points. <laughs> the battle ends. Alien, aberrant progeny. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than 50% life points. Less than 50% life point. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien. Mindless. Saving. My fresco. Violet crystal. The crystal is shaped like. Alien touches it. The crystal immediately shrinks until it's not possible to see it anymore. Fresco. Mindless. Save you to floor three. You have reached first window to floor four. Alien yeah. reaches the top of this segment of the tower. From here it's possible to reach the next tower, but he must be careful or he will fall into the void. With the power of the relic, Elian morphs into a wolf and with an accurate leap, he manages to reach the next tower. Libraries are even here. The more he climbs the tower, the more its frescoes show weirder and monstrous creatures. You have reached Sec Library Shelf 1. The books on this shelf are completely dedicated to rituals of every kind. Elian notices some page stuck among two books. They belong to a book which tells about an adventure inside the tower a long time ago. Justin and his team had to fight countless monsters. On the way they found three levers which unlocked a mechanism. Touching the walls they managed to proceed further inside the tower. The books on this shelf are completely library shelf too. The main themes of those books a psychology, astrology, and geology. The main themes lever. There's a lever on the ground. Elian pulls the lever. Fresco. The fresco shows a purple ghost. The shape and color are different compared to the other ghosts that Elian met before now. The fresco sh lever. The lever fre to floor three to floor five. Library to, to floor. Alien can jump down to the first tower from here, with the help of the wolf relic.
You have reached window. Alien reaches the top of this segment of tower. From here it's possible to reach the towers nearby. With the power of the relic, Elian morphs and manages to reach the next tower. On this floor there's a weird statue. You have reached third tower. Saving point. You saved the get to floor A to floor 3. With the help of the wolf relic, Elian can jump to the first tower from here. You have reached first window to floor four. You have reached set to floor five. As Elian reaches this floor, a bunch of humans come out and look towards him. But there's more. They are just corpses, and from their mouth, ears, nose, and even eyes, there are tentacles and insect-like legs which protrude. They are cerebral parasites, and they have an aberrant origin. Elian is disgusted. Anyway, the humans are dead. He could at least free their bodies from the host. You have reached second tower, floor five. Cerebral parasite. The battle begins. Elian is poisoned. Elian is poisoned. The battle ends. Elian gains 120. Library Shelf 1. There are books about the ancients, the multiverse, and quantum physics. There's some pages stuck among two books. They belong to a book which tells about an adventure inside the tower a long time ago. Justin and his team, at a certain point, entered many rooms with head statues. The statues were looking in many directions. So they walked through those directions without ever turning around. And so they touched the walls and proceeded to the next floors. There are books about candles. Many lit candles are scattered around the floor. There's some wax which has already solidified. Honest. Many lit candles are scattered around the floor. There's some wax which has already solidified. On a second glance, Elian notices that the candles are disposed in a way to form a geometric shape. Fresco. This fresco portrays another aberrant bat. Its colors are darker, and it resembles an actual bat even less. Library Shelf 2. Mathematics, geometry, and information technology are the main themes treated on this bookshelf. There's a book which fell from the bookshelf. Elian checks it out, but there's nothing that catches his attention. Elian puts the book back in its place. When he finds the place, he notices something at the bottom of the hole. Elian removes the other books nearby, and in this way a lever is revealed. Elian pulls it down. The lever is already cerebral parasite. The battle begins. Elian is poisoned. The battle ends. Elian gains luck and fret luck to floor four, to floor six. Elian enters the floor. The path is blocked. Inside the room, there's an oversized tentacle. 
It seems like it could aim at Elian. You have reached Second Tower, Floor 6, Cerebral Parasite. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gained fresco. In the fresco, there's the image of a powerful sorcerer. The green cloak darkens his face. Its body seems like an intense flame which is floating. In the fresco, there's the Im aberrant progeny. The battle begins. More than 75% life points. More than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien. Fresco. Tentacle. Wall. Tentacle. On the wall, there's a huge tentacle. That's a menace for Elian. It also hinders his access to a part of the floor. Elian gets ready for the battle. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 170 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control. Aberrant progeny. Wall. 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 To floor 5. Wall. To lever. Behind that oversized tentacle, there was a lever. Alien pulls it down. Cerebral pa lever to fl wall, 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 wall. Alien touches the wall. It reacts to him. Suddenly, three walls inside the room descend until they disappear under the floor. Three paths have been revealed. To floor seven, upstairs. To fl aberrant progeny. Press up to floor seven. Up window. Up to floor seven. Elian follows the stairway. It's time to reach the next tower. As Elian walks through the stairway, the stairs suddenly retire inside the wall. Elian is in freefall. He immediately reacts and minimizes the damage. He's gone through much worse obstacles. Yet he wasted a lot of time with this trap. You have reached Sector Floor 5. You have reached Sector Floor 6. You have reached Se Lever to Floor 5. Window. Upstairs. Way to Floor 5. Lever. To Floor... Up to Floor 7. You have reached to floor five. You have reached set to floor six. You have reached lever to floor five window. Upstairs. From this stairway, Elian reaches the top of the current tower. From here he can reach the third tower with the help of the wolf relic. Yeah. 
You have reached third tower, floor seven. Saving point. You saved the game, head statue. On a square pedestal, there's a stone statue with the shape of a humanoid head. It's looking forward at that door. As Elian touches the statue, he hears the sound of a mechanism which unlocks something. Fresco. The fresco shows the image of a winged toad demon. What a horrible face. The fresco. Ceremonial chalice. The chalice is decorated with particular carvings. It must have been used for celebrating rituals. It has been filled with human blood. Elian obtains one blood vial. The chalice. The chalice is now empty. To floor three. To floor eight. Elian unlocks the door. He won't have to worry about the mechanism anymore. Saving point. You said he pressed to, to saving point. To floor eight. Another head statue is here. The mind flayers finally appear. Elian must pay extra attention to them. You have reached third time. Fresco. The fresco represents an eerie and terrifying devil. It's winged. The skin is red and an evil grin can be seen on its face. The fresco mind flayer. The battle begins. The enemy is getting stronger. Alien is getting slower. Getting stronger, Elian is getting slower. The battle ends. Elian gains 140 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press can you opened the inventory page. 30 blood vial. You open life ex Elian reached level 4. Five thousand. Your five hundred. Fresco. Eighty. Head statue. There's another stone statue with the shape of a humanoid head. It's looking backward at that door. As Elian touches the statue, he hears the sound of a mechanism which unlocks something. Fresh mind flayer. The battle begins. <laughs> Less than 75% life points. The enemy is getting stronger. Hellion is getting slower. The battle. Elian gains 140 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control to floor 9. Elian unlocks the door. The mechanism won't bother him anymore. To floor 7. Wall. On the wall has been traced some geometrical shapes. They all intersect among themselves making a complex structure. Elian can't recognize what has been used to trace those lines, but whatever it is, it smells weird. On the wall, eyes. Among the tentacles, now there's also some large eyes. They all stare at Elian obsessively. Among the ten wall, Elian touches the wall. He hears the sound of a mechanism being unlocked. The wall moves forward, and then it moves to the side, revealing a secret treasure chest. Elian checks the contents of the chest. There are many bottles, 
They contain human blood. Elian obtains four blood vials. Elian already got all the blood from the bottles inside the treasure chest. Elian head statue, fresco, to floor nine. From this floor, Elian can hear a chant. It comes from the outside, probably from the last tower. The path to the last floor of this tower has collapsed. You have reached third tower, floor nine, cerebral parasite. The battle begins. Elian is poisoned. Less than 50% life points. Elian is poisoned. The battle ends. Elian gains 120 tentacle. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 170 experience points. Elian gets blood va fresco. On the wall, Elian can see a feminine humanoid. The body is half serpentine, and many snakes replace her hair. While she could be mistaken for Medusa, she's actually a Naga queen. On the wall, wall. That wall seems slightly darker than the others nearby. That wall... Head statue. Another head statue is here. It's looking forward at that wall. As Elian touches the statue, he hears the sound of a mechanism which unlocks something. Mind Flayer. The battle begins. Less than fifty percent. The enemy is getting stronger. Alien is getting slower. ends. Elian gains 140 to floor 8 upstairs to floor 10. Elian morphed as a bat manages to reach the upper floor and lands on it. On the other side of the floor he can see something on a pedestal. You have reached the fresco. On the huge fresco is portrayed Gargantua. A massive gargoyle made of iron instead of stone. On the huge fresco is portrayed Gargantua. Pedestal. On the pedestal there's a relic inside a globe. Elian can see the mist, which has been trapped somehow. That means he found the Mist Relic. With the Mist Relic, Elian can now transform into Mist. In this way, he will be able to bypass obstacles like grates and reach many new places which were out of his reach before. In battle, he can now transform into Mist as well. To change into Mist shape, you follow the same rules of the other relics. As Mist, he will always dodge enemy attacks automatically. 
On the other hand, to maintain mist form, Elian will slowly keep losing a small amount of life. Also, he can't attack while in mist shape. To change from one shape to the other ones, you have to press shift. But since Elian has four different shapes, now the shapes will follow this order. Dampier, Wolf, Bat, and then Mist. While transformed, Elian won't be able to heal himself with blood vials. To floor 9, pedestal. To fresco, to pedestal. The pedestal is now to floor 9. <laughs> You have reached the to floor 10, upstairs. Elian follows the path of the stairway. Elian is walking through the stairway. When he reaches the end of the path, he realizes he's returned to floor 7. The stairway behind him has already disappeared. Was that a teleport? Anyway, he fell into a trap. You have reached third tower. Save it. You set to floor eight. To floor three. You have reached the window. You have reached the save. You to floor eight. To floor. You have reached first tap window to floor four. You have reached set to floor five. You have reached set to floor six. You have reached lever to floor five window. Elian aims at the last tower. With the power of the relic, Elian morphs and manages to reach it. The chant comes from the top of this tower. Even if there are less monsters nearby, there's an oppressive feeling. He feels like he must hurry. You have reached fourth tower, floor 11, tentacle. The battle begins. The battle ends. Elian gains 170 experience points. Elian gets blood vial. Press control. You like ex Elian reached level 4. 4. That your back fresco. Hunt mine 40. The battle begins. <laughs> Getting stronger, Elian is getting slower. The battle ends. Elian gain tentacle to floor 12. Te fresco. This fresco is huge and shows a massive creature. It's a hybrid race. Part anglerfish and part slug. Instead of a light bait, there's a gorgeous woman attached to the lantern. 
It seems like the fish could breathe air as well, since it's out of the sea. This fre- Bones. Human bones, of course. It seems like they have been used to craft some ritual instrument. Human b mind flayer. The battle begins. The battle ends. Alien gains 140 experience points. Alien gets blood va. You opened the inventory page. 38. You're back in tentacle. Fresco. Bow to floor to floor. Sit to floor 9. Bone to, to, to floor 12. The next floor is the last one. On a wall, Elian can see one last fresco, which represents a mythological creature. The chant is starting to become very annoying. Even if it doesn't rain, Elian can hear thunder. You have reached for saving point. You saved the game. Chains. Chains. Maybe they have been used to restrict some human sacrifice. But what really bothers Elian is the sound. It only brings back terrible memories. Chain fresco. That huge fresco represents an immense aberrant creature from the sea. The text below says that it's Leviathan, but it looks more like an oversized kraken to Elian. It's difficult to interpret this fresco. Besides, when many sources about the past start to overlap, it often happens that a misinterpretation can alter the original subject, especially when it involves myths. That huge to floor 11, to top floor. Elian reached the very top of the tower. The sky seems to have gone mad. The rift is wider than before, and weird sounds come from it. He climbs an external staircase, and finally can see the altar. Many typical materials used for rituals are scattered around. Some magical circle is traced under his feet. The vampire stands there, and keeps chanting a ritual in an ancient language. Elian thinks that he also started to rave since the rite seems already performed. He must stop the effects of the ritual at least. You have reached fourth tower, top floor. Corpses. On a side of the floor, a pile of human corpses is stacked like a bunch of trash. Even if Elian used his power to touch the bodies, he can't sense anything. That means that their souls have been used for the ritual. On a side of ritual components, candles, blood, chalk, incense, bones. Every kind of item involved in a ritual is here. Candles, aberrant vampire, metal grate. Elian uses the mist relic and morphs into mist. He can pass through the grate. There's a pedestal behind it. Above the pedestal, there's a weird object. Since Elian doesn't know what it is, he just leaves it there. To floor 12, me aberrant vampire. Elian jumps over the altar. He draws the sword and dashes towards the vampire. A bunch of tentacles come out from his cloak, forcing Elian to retreat. The vampire turns toward Elian. He's covered with tentacles, even more than his progeny. His eyes protrude from their sockets. 
They've actually become ocular tentacles. The aberrant vampire is shouting something, but Elian is not sure if it's an ancient language or if he's just rambling. Or both. Whatever the vampire is saying, it just comes out as noise and drool from his mouth. From Elian's perspective. So he starts fighting that thing. The battle. <laughs> Less than 75% life points. Less than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 400 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control. The fight ends. Before landing the final blow, Alien needs a vampire relic, namely any part of his body. Most of his body is merged with tentacles, but the hands still seem humanoid enough. Alien cuts off a finger and covers it with his dampier power. In that way it won't turn into ash when the vampire dies, and Elian won't lose the relic. So Elian obtains one vampire relic. Without wasting another second, he cuts the head off the vampire, the body turns into ash. From that pile Elian can see his soul floating towards the sky. Towards the rift to be precise. That's the final destination of a soul bound to a pact, made with an ancient of the pandemonium. That's the proof Elian was searching for. The vampire made a pact, hence the merger with the aberrant prosthesis. His progeny has been involved too. But the rift is not closing at all. The effects of the ritual are still active. Elian must do something. On the altar, there's also a grimoire. He checks it out. He's heard about this. It's the Grimoire of Darkness. Rumors say that it's a partial reinterpretation of the infamous Necronomicon. The content of this grimoire allows you to make a pact with the ancients. It's also possible to use it for casting space-time spells and rituals that create portals which connect with the pandemonium. An item like this is so famous that even common humans through the web talk about it, and they even search for it for real. Without hesitation, Elian burns the grimoire. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to stop the effects of the ritual. Still, now Elian knows that he must search for portals scattered inside the whole tower. He must be quick. In the worst case scenario, an ancient will be summoned from the portals, probably Cthulhu. It could even be more dangerous than Dracula itself. Metal Grit to Floor 12. You have reached Fort Saving Point. You saved the gate to top floor. You have reached to Metal Grip Pile of Ash. That's all that's left of the vampire. There's more ash than he expected. It could be due to the aberrant prosthesis which increased the mass of the body. So they became vampire parts since they turned into ash. At the same time, the vampire was still a vampire. 
It's the first time that Elian saw an aberrant vampire. Hopefully the last as well. The ash is still slightly glowing blue. Another consequence of the pact? Something is off. Elian sweeps away the ash with a kick. He was right. The ash was hiding a magic circle which was still active. This is one of the portals he's searching for. Metal grey to floor to corpse it to floor. You have reached for saving point. You sit to top floor. You have reached for the floor. Metal portal. From the portal comes out a giant aberrant monster. It must be a fragment of the ancient. Despite its size, when compared to Cthulhu, it's just a tiny ant. The fragment emits horrible voices. Elian dashes against it before it gets even more powerful. The battle begins. Elian is poisoned. Elian is getting one hundred percent life points. Elian is getting. than 75% life points. Hellion is poisoned. Hellion is poisoned. Hellion is poisoned. is getting slower. Less than 50% life points. Elliot is getting slower. 100% life points. Less than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 360 experience points. Alien gets as the creature dies, the portal disappears. Elian can feel the presence of other portals. He must be quick. You opened the inventory page. 32. You're back to floor 12. You have reached for safe use to top floor to floor 11. You have reached fourth tower to floor 12 to floor 6. A jump with the wolf relic. You have reached second lever to floor five. You have reached cerebral parasite. The battle begins. Elian is poisoned.
Rebellion is poisoned. Less than 75%. The battle ends. Alien library, port press portal. From the portal comes out a giant aberrant monster. It must be a fragment of the ancient. Despite its size, when compared, the battle begins. Less than 75% life points. Alien is getting slower. More than 75% life points. Less than 50% life points. Less than 75% life points. Alien is getting slower. 100% life points. Alien is getting slower. Alien. Less than 75% life points. Alien is poisoned. Alien is getting slower. Alien is poisoned. Less than 50% life points. Alien is getting slower. More than 70 and less than 75% life points. Less than 75% life points. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 360 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control to continue. As the creature dies, the portal disappears. Alien can feel the presence of other portals. He must be quick. Cerebral parrot to floor six. You have reached Lever to floor five window. You have reached to floor twelve. You have reached fourth. Save you save to top floor to floor eleven. You have reached four to floor twelve to floor six to floor nine. Alien can use the You have reached that to floor ten. Upstairs to floor eight. You have reached the fresco. Mind flayer. The battle begins. The enemy is getting stronger. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting stronger. Alien is getting slower. The enemy is getting stronger. The battle ends. Alien gains one. Forty. Fresco. Head statue. Wall. Eyes. Portal. From the portal comes out a giant. The 
battle begins. Less than 75% life points. Elian is poisoned. Elian is... Less than 75% life points. Hellion is poisoned. Less than 50% life points. Hellion is getting... is getting slower. More than 75% life points. Less than 50% life points. Hellion is getting slower. Less than 50% life points. Less than 50% life points. Hellion is getting slower. Hellion is poisoned. Less than 75% life, life points. Less than 75% life points. Hellion is getting slower. Less than 50% life points. The battle ends. Alien gains 360 experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control as the creature dies. Life ex Alien reached level 4. 2820. Wall. Head statue. Mind fresco. Mind flayer. The Less than 50% life points. Getting stronger, Elliot is getting fifty percent life points. The battle ends. Elliot to floor nine. You have reached to floor ten, upstairs to floor eight. You have reached the Mind Flayer. The battle begins. The enemy is getting stronger. Hellion is getting slower. ends. Alien, you opened the inventory page. 16. You're back to floor 9. To floor 7. Wall. To floor... You have reached to floor... To floor 3. You have reached the window. To floor four, upstairs. You have reached for to floor two. You have reached the saving point. You saved to floor three.
to floor one. You have reached fur to floor two to floor zero. You have reached fur to floor one to the outskirts. You have reached K to the tower. Two outs, mindless. Less Battle than fifty percent life points. <laughs> More than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien get grass mindless. The battle begins. More than 75% life points. The battle ends. Alien corpse to the tattoo at mine gra mine corpse M grass. The grass is matu to the corpse mind look to the tower. You have reached tent library sh table library library portal. From the last portal, this time comes out another aberrant beast. A massive creature with a single giant eye and big jaws floats above the floor. Many ocular tentacles are attached to the main body. Elian knows what creature is in front of him. It's a beholder. They are clever creatures who can channel magic through their eyes and they shoot it as a beam of light. Elian doesn't know what effects the beams of this beholder could have, but he knows that it's way more dangerous than the fragments summoned by the other portals. Elian gets ready for the battle while paying extra attention to the beams of the beholder. The battle... the left arrow to load the last saved game. You have reached to floor three, to floor one. You have reached to floor two, to floor zero. You have reached for ten library table, library, library portal. The <laughs> Less than 75% life points. Less than 75% life points. Life. 
percent life points. Less than seventy five percent life points. Less than seventy five percent life points. One hundred percent life points. More than seventy five percent life points. The battle ends. Alien gains seven hundred experience points. Alien gets blood vial. Press control. Alien stabs the beholder in its giant eye. Blood and other secretions spill from it. The charging beam can't come out, and so it explodes inside the beholder. The whole body gets torn apart and scattered around the room. After some seconds, it melts and evaporates. The portal disappears, and finally the sky becomes quiet. The rift disappears, even if the sky is still stormy. The ritual won't do anything else. Even if there's still some creature left inside the tower, the worst has been avoided. Elian accomplished his mission. And now he can leave the Tower of Chaos. Libra library ship. You opened the inventory page. Eleven. Blood. You o Yob table. Library tentacle. To floor one. To the outskirts. You have to the tower. Chaos to outside the tower. You have reached me. Say tree. Medical kit. There's no tra- Rock. To the cap. To the cap. To the- To the- Saving. You saved the game. Quit. Hell. Egg.